Well, uh, there's been latest footage that has now been shared of a close range of a drone footage showing the hideout of terrorists and trapped in peaks of Gadol and Anantnag. Uh, this is the forest area where this operation that has been ongoing in the last four days. And this is the same one that was busted yesterday by the security forces. We'll play out that video as well, how the security forces managed to find and locate this uh, hideout and how it was busted. You can see and even hear explosions that are taking place. These are precision attacks that have uh, now been taking place, especially when it comes to those terror hideouts that are now being busted. All right, we have uh, Yavar and Pradeep Datta joining us here on the broadcast. Yavar, in your understanding exactly when it comes to such uh, precision attacks that have been taking place, take us through the latest pro drone footage that is now being shared by our security forces. Uh, well, exactly. This is the same hideout which was busted by the security forces yesterday and it's believed that uh, this is a post of that particular hideout. Now this is a close range of the drone footage in which you can see that uh, how these militants have you know, managed uh, to set up this hideout in the terrain of the Gadula in Kokarna. Now clearly it indicates uh, that uh, the security forces, how they are you know, exercising the utmost cautious while dealing with this operation. But remember that this operation has already entered the day four. It's been now more than 80 hours since this operation rattles in the high risk of the Kokarna. Uh, but let me tell you here is that the weather has become the bad now. And uh, this is going to add up one more challenge for the security forces because they are in the terrain and there has been the heavy uh, rainfall that has been, that has witnessed or the gunfight site. Uh, so clear to mention is that already the search operation have been uh, intensified in that and we haven't heard uh, the explosive over a couple of uh, hours now but yes as of now the searches are intensified remember that already two to three Lashkar group of militant are trapped there so the security forces they have cornered entire places in fact today morning the cordon has been extended to more nearby villages uh, in order to ensure that uh, there would be no additional casualty or collateral damage to the security forces that's what uh, we are witnessing over a past day of uh, this encounters back here Absolutely, Yavar. So uh, you're taking us, of course, through the latest uh, footage which has come out. Uh, the hideout of uh, ter terrorists has been uh, busted. Uh, you know, Pradeep is also live with us. Pradeep, take us through, you know, uh, what's the latest as far as uh, the encounter in Uri is also concerned because this is a massive win for our forces there as well. Three terrorists have been eliminated today. Uh, yes, a big success for security forces that they had been able to foil infiltration bit in Uri area in uh, Baramula district. Three terrorists today morning, they were trying to sneak into India's side at about 6.45 a.m. And that was the time when the surveillance gadgetry was able to detect their movement immediately. The ambush party was uh, alerted and uh, they were able to launch an operation in that area. Two terrorists were eliminated. The third one who was injured, he tried to flee back to the Pakistan side, see how the Pakistan army was trying to help him but the body is still lying there he was not uh, successful in moving towards the pakistan side though pakistan army started open fire so that the body is not retrieved the body is still lying there three terrorists have been eliminated large quantities of arms and ammunition has been recovered this clearly indicates that how pakistan is trying to keep part of terrorism boiling. They do not want peace and prosperity in this region. They do not want uh, tourism. They want terror-related activities because they are totally unnerved and rattled because Kashmiris have rejected terrorism. They have rejected separatism. We have already seen that the footfall of the tourists have increased. G20 summit was uh, a big success in Delhi and G20 meeting was a game changer so far as Kashmir is concerned. And we have seen that even in the month of uh, December now they are going to have the Miss World contest in 130 countries are going to participate. That's one of the reasons they want to create mayhem and push in as many terrorists as they can so exactly. that they can keep uh, the winter also hot, but uh, they haven't succeeded. They have uh, tried their level best in this infiltration attempt, but all the three terrorists have been so far eliminated by our vigilant troops uh, there on the border. Well, absolutely. And as far as, uh, you know, the Pakistan uh, terrorists are concerned, it's very obvious that they're rattled by the success of India. And that's why you have uh, these type of, uh, you know, incidents which are taking place. Uh, and of course, we can see uh, a very strong message being given by our forces infiltration bit foil today morning itself. But Yavar, coming back to you, talking specifically about, you know, this drone footage which we have accessed uh, exclusively. Take us through, you know, what the footage shows, how these hideout uh, of the terrorists were uh, busted and, and what really, you know, is this entire operation how was it conducted well this is the efforts of four days of the security for 
resources and uh, this footage clearly shows the close range of the hideout. Uh, if you can clearly see it that there's an entry point uh, where the security forces have, you know, focused upon and uh, this is the same hideout which was busted yesterday by the security forces. Though yesterday's footage was up to the ground and uh, this footage is down to the ground so it clearly shows that how deep is this cave was, how deep these militants have made this uh, hideout. That's why it takes a bit of a more time for the security forces to ensure that there would be no additional like this hideout in that particular terrain because they have to you know take the step very cautiously because they don't know in the dominant position where the militants are where they could uh, fight upon the security forces so eventually the first priority is to minimize the collateral damage and not to give any sort of non-fatality injury because already in the second day of the operation the army had already suffered uh, the non-fatal injuries of two of his Yaman. they are being treated here so first of all the precaution measures have, would have to be taken before they could go for the final assault in this particular operation which has been rattled in the dense forest of the Kokarna over the past four days. Back to you. Uh, I can see it's raining behind you. You're also holding an umbrella. So I'm sure, you know, it's the weather also which adds up to the challenges which the security forces uh, faces. Take us through really, uh, you know, the type of difficult terrain in which uh, our forces have been conducting the Anantanag operation because that's also entered its fourth day. And really, what type of role does the weather play? Uh, well, this is going to add up one more challenge for the security forces, as I earlier told you, because uh, this is a terrain, there's a slippery road now, and there's a heavy rains going across near the gunfight site. So you can clearly see that I'm holding this umbrella, how uh, the terrain would be undergoing the rain segments all across. There's a heavy raining in the plains, and there could be the more heavy rains in the terrain as well. That's what is adding, you know, one more challenge for the security forces uh, to ensure this operation would go smooth and smooth. Uh, but we are expecting that this rain is going to stop. But as of now, raining is there. The challenges are there. But rain was the main challenge that the security forces are faring because the terrain operations want to be going all across if the weather is bad in the condition, fearing that there would be the slippery road, there would be the other aspect, there could be the, you know, uh, mudslides going across. So all the things had to be taken in the mind before security forces could go for the, you know, operational methods uh, that has been put in place uh, mm -hmm. since the yesterday uh, in the Kokanar. Back to you. Well, absolutely. So you're rightly telling us how our brave Jawans and forces really are continuing with the Anantanag operation despite, of course, the difficult terrain uh, and, of course, uh, you know, the rains and the bad weather really uh, adding uh, to all the issues they are facing. But despite of that, they are continuing, you know, with the encounter. They are at the encounter side, Anantanag operation entering day four. Uh, Pradeep, if I could come back to you because, you know, it's a multi-pronged really attack when we speak, uh, you know, of terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, when, when it comes to uh, terrorists hiding in POK, uh, there is an action, there's a crackdown uh, which has been done on them as well, isn't it? Uh, about 13 proscribed terrorists, terrorists who were hiding in POK, they have been declared declared as proscribed terrorists today. So obviously it's a multi-pronged crackdown on terror, isn't it Pradeep? Yes, you're absolutely right. The multi-pronged crackdown on terrorists continue. On one hand, we are trying to take on the Lashkar terrorists. They are trying to bust that cave hideout in Antak. Counter-infiltration operation had been continuing in Uri. And here, the many of those terrorists who are operating right now from Pakistan, occupied Jammu and Kashmir, or from Pakistan, they had been declared proclaimed offenders. And what they are going to do, they are further trying to plug uh, uh, their finances. They are trying to plug the terror funding also. In the process, they have also trying to generate fear psychosis among the people also. That's why their property has been sealed. The message has been sent loud and clear that anybody who is involved in any kind of a terror-related activity will not be spared. See what these terrorists are trying to do. They are getting in touch with the overground network here because they are operating from Pakistan or Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir and they are trying to revive terror-related activities because their uh, mentors in the inter-service intelligence. They want peace uh, and normalcy to be destabilized in this region. So they want once again the terror-related activity to be established in areas south of Pir Panchal, especially in hinterland like Kistwar, Badarwa and Doda area. So that's one of the reasons that the security forces are acting against them. What they used to do is their properties are being sold and the money that is being generated that is being used for the terror-related activities. So why declaring their proclaimed offenders and sealing, uh, seizing their property? So message is loud and clear that yeah. we will not allow this thing to happen so we are going to plug uh, terror funding of any sorts. And also a message is loud and clear to other people also that if anybody is involved in any kind of overdone work providing logistic support to terrorists, uh, the same will be the sol solution for them too. Their property will also be sealed. So there is a multi-pronged crackdown going on. And the, what is more important is that we are okay. using 
the sophisticated gadgetry. We are using the sophisticated weaponry. You were talking exactly. about uh, that particular hideout, the cave hideout. You yeah. must have seen the close-up picture that how uh, that uh, Hiron drone is being used uh, to spot the hideout. Absolutely. Then how we have Ab seen that. You know, you're right, Pradeep, as you are telling us, sophisticated weaponry being used by our forces, Hiron drones, etc., already deployed. It's a multi-pronged approach when it comes to the crackdown on terror. Uh, we will keep an eye on this big story on the Anantnak encounter and the overall crackdown on terror through the course of the day. As of now, thank you for joining us with all these.